Hi everyone, it's Kate from The Fold Line. I am back this week to talk about last night's sewing bee. So that was episode three. Is everyone enjoying it? Um, I'm gonna start by saying if you haven't watched the episode, don't watch this video, because there are some spoilers. And um, I, yeah, I'm excited to talk to you about Children's Week. So, this was actually quite a hard one for us in terms of the pattern hunting. I we don't have loads and I have to say I've, I found the last couple of weeks, so last week and this week, interesting because the options available for the um, challenge at the end in terms of patterns are quite limited. Last week a sort of men's Hawaiian shirt and this week a pair of children's dungarees which was the last kind of challenge and there aren't actually loads of patterns to pick from so in a way it made our life a little bit easier in terms of hunting but there wasn't a kind of plethora of patterns to choose from. Anyway, I've got some really good stuff to talk to you about and I hope you will enjoy this. Um, there's also a blog post which I'll pop a link to which has got all the patterns, loads of other stuff, um, tips of things that they did, kind of hints and tips of techniques they used in the show. Um, yeah, it's really full of good stuff so it's definitely worth checking out. Right, the first challenge was a children's dress, like a little girl's dress, really classic. The sort of classic dress, and I am a child of the 80s that my mum dressed me up in when I was little. Um, very sweet little Peter Pan collar. Um, did it have sleeves? Yes, little sort of cap sleeves. Um, and it had, and the technique that they learned this time was shearing, and so the front panel of the dress was sheared. And yeah, they all did a really good job. I did notice to anyone else quite a lot of Liberty fabrics being used, which was nice. Um, who doesn't love a Liberty lawn? Um, yeah, lots of good stuff in there. So I naively, I will say, thought that this was going to be a really easy pattern to find. I thought there'd be loads of these kind of classic little girl dresses everywhere. Um, I've got three options. Um, the first one is probably the closest, and then the other two are kind of variations around the theme, which I thought you guys might like. Um, so the one that I found that I thought was the closest was the Butterick 3762. Um, it doesn't have the shearing, but it does it very much looks like the dress. It's got the Peter Pan collar, and instead of having shearing, it's actually got three little layers, lines, well one of the variations is three little lines of pin tucks, which would look really nice, and then a gathered skirt. Um, this comes in ages... We don't have this listed on our site and I can't find the ages actually, which is very unhelpful. I will, I will, I'll, it'll be in the blog post. Um, but yes, this is a really sweet dress. I mean, it's really classic. It's everything Laura Ashley 80s that my mum definitely shoved me in. Um, but yeah, I thought that one was the closest. If you wanted something else that was a little bit, um, it's pretty similar. Um, it's the penny collar dress from Liberty Patterns and um, this one we do have on the online shop. Um, I popped this in because I thought it's got the collar but it's a bit more simple in the construction so if, I, if you look at the line drawings you will see that um, it's got these really nice kind of um, pleat details around the collar, around the, around the collar, around the neckline, thank you brain, engage and um, it's got a really sweet little option to add a ruffle and there are quite a few, there are four variations so there's kind of lots of scope to make it your own but I thought that one was quite close if you wanted, if you wanted to go more, I don't know, wanted another variant. Um, the indie pattern option for this ver version is the children's geranium dress made by Ray. Um, the, the original dress um, is really sweet it's very basic kind of little bodice with pleated front there is a expansion pack for this pattern which I'll pop a link to as well and that has a collar and it feels much more it feels much more old-fashioned in terms of the shape of the dress kind of not old-fashioned but classic um, and closer to the sort of ones that we saw so I thought those sort of three would be quite close to um, close and kind of hopefully useful um, so the second, so that was the sort of technical challenge. The middle challenge, the upcycling challenge, was absolutely mental. Um, they had all, got, they'd all been given sleeping bags, and they had to make a basic a costume that was an item of fruit. Um, I really would like to know <laughs> who came up with those I, the idea for that. But um, they did some really interesting stuff. I'm not going to go into pattern suggestions for that because they were 
it's it's a bit too wacky and too difficult and I yeah so we thought no um, the final challenge was dungarees children's dungarees um, I thought they all did a really good job actually and it was nice to see different uses of fabric um, they're really good so um, yeah I I ended up grouping quite a few of the people together because I felt like the patterns were so similar that I, could, I mean, and there, and there also aren't a huge option. I went through all of the children's dunkery patterns I could find. Um, so if anyone knows, I would love, or has got some other suggestions, please tell me because it it's annoyed me that I wasn't able to do wonderfully. So the first, um, let me go up to the top here. I'm sorry, my laptop is here. So Liz's short, shorty star dunkeries, um I, hang on, let me just double check I've got this right. I think, yeah, Liz, her one was the, um, and I did, she, we snuck in a bit of, um, I definitely saw the pattern for this one. So it's made by Jack's mum. Um, I did dungarees PDF. I think this is probably one of the most classic dungaree patterns that there is out there. Um, it comes from sizes 0 to 3 months up to 12 years so it's got a really good size range as well if you wanted to make these. Um, I think they're a great pattern. Um, she specialises actually, she started off her pattern company specialising in boys patterns and I think this is a really lovely and obviously this is a unisex pattern so I'm pretty sure that that one, that one is spot on. And now I'm looking at Therese's um, and I think that it could be the same one as well actually in terms of the line drawing um, and she's just done the short a short version of this so I think yeah maybe yeah so let's go for Liz and Therese I think those two are the um, made by Jack's mum child I dig dungarees pdf um, next we had um, who did we have so we had Hazel and was it Matt? Hazel and Matt, I think. Yes. Sorry, I've got myself a little bit confused. Yes, I think Hazel and Matt have used the McCall's 7459. Um, and you, this pattern comes with dress options, but the trouser version, if you look at the shape, it feels very similar. I think Matt has added pockets um, onto his. I could be wrong suggestions and help very much welcome but I thought those two were pretty close um, to to this McCall's pattern and it's a really nice one it's in it's kind of a current one so you can get hold of it if you want to next up I have got Mark's um, pattern which I did quite I th I'm pretty sure this is right um, it's an out of print pattern but you can get it on Etsy it's the Birder 9464. Um, the reason that I picked this one was because, um, hang on a second, let me just get to it. It looked really similar at the front and um, the back is cut all in one piece which we did see a view of the back of the dungarees and it looked like it was a whole piece so I think this one is I, I mean, obviously, I'm, I could be wrong, but this one was pretty close in terms of the cut and the sh shape. Um, and, yeah, I think that one is right. So, last, my last option for the dungarees, um, which I have banded in, Ali, Claire P and Peter together, and it's the Freddy dungarees pattern from Two Stitches. Um, so, lovely, it's an indie pattern, whoop whoop, actually the first one was indie as well, but I was really delighted to see this one because I think this is a beautiful pattern. The thing that gave it away was these big statement patch pockets on the front um, and I think it's lovely. So this comes in sizes from three to nine years, um, it's not available on the online shop but obviously there, there'll be links to it so you can go and get it. Um, and yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that I was right with these ones. Um, 
because they all had that big pocket so I'm, I'm pretty sure I was right for this one. So I think this is a really lovely dun kids dungaree pattern if you're looking for one and there's also a variation with this with a skirt so you've got kind of two for the price of one. Um, the last one that I really struggled to find and I would like your help is Nicole's nautical dungarees. So if you saw it and you thought I, I know this um, please will you share the love because the, I'm really struggling. The thing that made me not be able to find it is that the bib is quite deep and it's got two little buttons at the side um, which I couldn't find in any patterns so I don't know whether she tweaked the pattern and did that herself. Um, yeah, thoughts welcome. Um, Anyway, I'm, I hope that was useful and I hope you enjoyed that. Do go and check out the blog post and we will be back next week with more pattern picks. Next week is active wear, so I'm going to have to like get my lycra on and search out some good patterns for you all. Um, have a lovely weekend as well. See you soon. Bye.